Come, let's unbox Ink Bucket 2024 Planner. So this time, they have removed the weekly reflections part. This time, the freebies is also not included. I'm a little bit disappointed, to be honest. Hey, families, welcome to my channel, The Productive Girl. And today, we are going to unbox, flip through, and review Ink Bucket 2024 Planner. I'm so excited. This is how the outer packaging looks like. Normal cardboard box packaging. And the delivery took literally just three days. I received this planner within three days of ordering this. Super fast delivery. So I thought of sharing that with you guys. Now let's unbox. So here we have like their branding, the ink bucket and some designs going on. This is how the box looks like. This is the magnetic box and it looks so classy. And this is the opening side and it has this design. At the back, they have their branding, the ink bucket. And at the front, we have this beautiful floral design. I really like it. So it's a very good quality keepsake box that you can keep your planner inside or you can use it for any storage that you would like to. Now let's open the box. Okay, so first we have a little bit pocket over here in which we have the sticker book. Next we have the thank you card. It says this is thanks to you because you're a part of why we do what we do. So it's a little note from them. And here we have the planner. Okay, first impressions. The planner looks quite compact. So let's open this cover. It looks so pretty. Let me know which cover design you guys liked the most. I liked this one the most. That's why I picked this one. And the 2024 looks so beautiful. I really like this pastel green sort of a color. And at the back, we do have the branding, the ink bucket. Overall, I really like the cover page it looks pretty and this is how the side looks like it just mentioned 2024 planner this time the number of pages is less i guess now it's time to flip through the planner so at the start we have a year in the life of and we have like two lines to write down your name next we have 2024 is the year of the movie when we see life through a cinematic lens and create a grand narrative out of the everyday normal. So this year the theme is around movies which is for sure a unique idea and it's quite creative. So I'm excited about how this theme is throughout the year. First we have 2024 yearly calendar. 2024 and 2025 yearly calendar. So you can have like a overall yearly overview. And then we have goodbye 2023. Describe the year that was. Maybe 2024 wasn't what you were expecting it's best then to get it off of your chest and on paper so you can journal about 2023 and in this hello 2024 you can write about how you want the upcoming year to be your expectations and everything so that's the space for next we have vision board two spaces to create your vision board you can stick pictures quotes words you can even doodle or draw your dream life i will leave a link for my vision board video do check it out you will get to know how to create a vision board in your planner if you watch that video so go and watch it after watching this video next we have let's set goals and make plans so this is like a similar layout in ink bucket planner so we have different areas of our life to set goals like work goals personal goals goals, health goals, financial goals, relationship goals and other goals. So you can customize this other goals into whatever that you want. For example, if you're a student, you can convert this other goal into study goals and you can write down your study related goals. You can write like two to three goals in each and every area or just one goal that is totally your wish. And if you need like a little bit help in goal setting, then you can also check out my goal setting video, which is quite helpful for so many people. So I'm sure it will be for you as well. So I will link it down below and also in the screen right now. Then this is like of plans wherein you can write top priorities, habits to adopt, habits to cut, new skills to learn, do more of, do less of, all of those things which is quite good to write down first and also you can make these plans according to your goals like you can write down like new skills to learn that will support your goals so that it will help you to reach your goals maybe faster or in like an effective or efficient way. Next is important date section wherein you can jot down important dates for each and every month. So there is actually ample amount of space in each and every month to jot down 
down in a clear manner that's great next is ear at a glance i don't know how you guys use this ear at a glance page like if you're a regular user of ink bucket planners but i think i can think of like a few ideas first you can just write like one word a day and you can write one word for each and every day like how you feel in that particular day it's sort of like a mood tracker and second idea is literally a mood tracker you can just use it to track your mood throughout the year or you can even use like highlighters to color code and stuff so that's just i think out of the mind right now but if you guys use ink bucket planners for a really long time then let me know do comment down below how you guys use this ear at a glance spread i would love to read that next we have like a dot grid pattern page like an empty space maybe you can like brain dump or journal anything and this is january i guess coming of age age is not just a number it's any number because really anything is possible at just about any age which is totally true and here is a beautiful artwork of a cake candles and everything so this is a january spread looks like and i really like that they have provided the next month calendar in a tiny way because always it's so helpful to have the next month calendar layout it really makes it easy to use the planner you don't have to flip through the pages for like the february month calendar so it's quite useful also we do have the festivals mentioned in the calendar if that's something that you guys want in your planner then it might be helpful and we do also have note section next we have monthly overview page wherein you can write down your top priorities for the month i'm looking forward to and you can track habits most important notes and thoughts important dates new things to try and this is like a expense tracker i guess you can write the total income fixed expense variable expense savings debt total left over and, and saving for bill amount and pay by so this is like a finance corner and we have habit tracker down below you can track six habits with this planner each and every month so it's really minimal clean looking that's how the ink bucket planner would be next is the wellness plan so we have like another calendar layout going on so here they are mentioned use this space to plan track your meals exercise sleep mood or anything that's crucial to living your best life that's great so we can like write each and every day in these boxes to track your meals you can track what are the exercise that you want to do each and every day if you're someone who do different exercises different days and you can track how many hours you're sleeping every day your mood everything you can track whatever that you want to track you can track in, in these small boxes next this is the weekly slash daily layout at the top we have top priorities i'm grateful for so it's really nice to have like a gratitude note at the beginning of the week and for the top priority priorities you can write the priorities for that particular week and for each and every day we have like a dot grid pattern and also we have lines going on so maybe you can write your to do list here and doodle here or you can write your to do list here and journal here like you can use the one planner both as a to do list planning your day sort of and also like a journal day diary moment and i really like how they have mentioned both date and days it's quite useful while we plan so we have some weekly pages and at last we have note section which is of dot grid pattern so one page of note section is available and then we have monthly reflections so progress so far big challenges i overcame setbacks i encountered my renewed resolution for tomorrow so that's some really minimal eight effective reflections journal prompts that's it so this time i get to know that they have removed the weekly reflections part first up i used their planner in the year 2022 and there is weekly reflections part in the planner as well and i really liked using it and i feel the weekly reflections part is the is something unique to the ink bucket i don't think of any other brand that's came up with the weekly reflections part and it's really useful but also there might be reason why they have removed the weekly reflections part but i really liked using it but also i would like to add that sometimes like some weeks i don't have anything to reflect on that particular week so sometimes it's like a busy week or hectic week going on so i wouldn't say i'm completely disappointed in removing the weekly reflections part because i was like 50 50 I really liked it but also I'm okay with not having that it's not like I'm completely disappointed but let me know what do you guys think about weekly reflections being not present in 2024 planner let me know in the comment section below I would love to listen to your thoughts so after the monthly reflections we have the next month so february of course 
the category is rom com i really like these last two lines at a time when the motto is love what you do it's nice to be reminded about love actually so it's really nice and it's like a nice artwork here and this is february and every month it's going to be similar so let's quickly see for each and every month what is like the category the movie category okay march we have period drama so there is like detailed explanation for each and every category at the beginning of the month that you can take your time and read and there is a relevant artwork at the right hand side and this is for april mind f for may month it's space opera for june it's underdog i really love this artwork cute boy this is for july let me know if you guys like this movie theme of ink bucket planner this year this is for august this is for september time travel october november and december so let's see what is there after december monthly reflections so this is the december monthly reflections after this we have highlights of the year where you can write down the highlights of the year 2024 your memories and everything and we have note section wow there is actually lot of note spaces and then we do have stickers we already have like a sticker book but we do also have sticker at the back we all love stickers we can never have enough stickers cute stickers until next year so this is the back pocket it's really spacious back pocket you can keep the sticker book perfectly and all the other stuff so that's it this is the planner i think there is no elastic band closure it would have been really nice to add that but we do have ribbon bookmarks like two ribbon bookmarks they have provided in gray color so that's the planner but the planner looks really stunning i like the cover design now let's look at the sticker book i really love the beautiful artwork these are some sticker flip through for you guys This is the sticker book and planner and a magnetic keepsake box. This time the freebies is also not included. I'm a little bit disappointed to be honest because I feel freebies like sort of like a gifts like we are getting and using a planner for a new year. So it's like a new year gifts and of course the freebies from like a planner brand it would be mostly like a stationery and if it like a functional stationery it will be so useful for us to use it along with the planner to help us use the planner effectively and easily so that's how i look at it and also while i purchased the 2022 planner range in the past they have provided in the range a tote bag like a lifestyle things and a little pouch i still use them okay the design in the tote bag and the pouch is still the same that's how good quality it is and i used the tote bag for grocery run and everything but the thing is it's quite useful and it's sort of like a gift so it's little disappointing to be honest not getting any freebies but it's okay what do you guys think about this year planner from ink bucket are you guys disappointed like me for the freebies or if you guys disappointed for not having weekly reflections or is it okay for you guys let me know in the comment section below your thoughts and opinions i would love to read that these are just my thoughts and my experience my review for this planner this year is that as usual the planner is giving like a clean minimal vibe which i totally like it covered all the basic stuff so if you are looking for like a minimal clean looking planner you do not like quite detailed planners if you do not prefer like lot of pages lot of spreads you feel that not necessary you just prefer like minimal pages the necessary ones then you can definitely go for it there is a good quality keepsake box and also there is sticker book available so if you like it and would like to purchase it i will leave a link in the description box below you can check it out and if you are in your 2024 planner hunt and if you are curious how alicia Suza 2024 planner looks like. I will leave the unboxing video on the screen right now. Do click and watch it, and I will see you guys in that video. Until then, be positive and spread positivity. Bye bye.